Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Bowden Blow the Belt. I want to talk about uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. They uh, a reporter asked a gate. Uh, a reporter must have asked him about the uh, what he think about Errol Spence and Michael Garcia fight. And um, Sugar Ray Leonard gave his opinion on it, and uh, he gave a prediction. I mean, uh, like who 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 will win the fight? And uh, it was interesting because, you know, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard is known for um, jumping up on way to fight, uh, I think two ways to fight or one way to fight um, class to fight Marvelous Hagler. And he won that fight. And um, I was too young at the time when he was fighting. I probably was three years old, four years old when uh, he fought uh, Marvelous Hagler. Um, and... Um, it was a pretty good fight because I seen it on YouTube at the same time. It was a pretty good fight. I th I I, uh, I think when I looked at it, I say uh, yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard did win that fight. I had it because I at first you know what I'm saying uh, um, some people was, some people were saying that Marvis won that fight. I mean it could have went it could have went either way, but I think I I think that uh, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard pulled it out. You know what I'm saying not by a large number, whatever a large margin, but it was it was a close fight. But I think. Me looking at it, Sugar Ray Leonard, he, he did pull it out by edge. No, but, um, and then, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard was known for losing a fight with uh, Durant, um, uh, Roberto, or, or, um, what's that, Roberto Duran. And, um, but he got a rematch and won it because Durant, uh, quit. He said no moss, whatever, whatever that means, whatever. But, um, he known for those two fights, uh, those three fights that he fought. He won two of them out of the one, of course, because uh, I think Durant got in, in that first fight. He got into his head and stuff like that. And Sugar Ray Leonard didn't fight the fight that he should have fight. That wasn't him. But I guess when you get when people get into your head, it can it can psychologically mess you up. You know what I'm saying? So Durant is a smart guy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what he did, and uh, and and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard fought uh, Durant fight, and that's why he lost. You know what I'm saying? So, but um, the thing about it is, uh, getting back to what uh, Sugar Ray Leonard said about, um, he said about Earl Spencer, Mikey Garcia, he gave his opinion on it. He said, um, he said, he said, he, he thinks um, Mikey Garcia, um, he said, he said, only Mikey truly knows, but 98% of those Ash probably thought Hagler was going to beat me. You can never convince a real champion that he can't win. Being a smaller man, Mikey got to pick his shots based on footwork, moving, moving in and out, finding out what works best against Spence strong and weak points towards breaking him down, said Leonard. Gar Garcia will, will feel the size difference in Spence punches because now... Nine times out of ten, when a bigger guy hit me, he will rock me. The biggest thing for Garcia will be pose, com composure, which is everything for, for a guy moving up, taking risks against bigger guys. Garcia just has to be selective with shots and make Earl Spence, I mean, make Spence feel uncomfortable with his timing from the point. Mikey Garcia beating Earl Spence would be a huge, but I gotta go with Spence. So, um, so even uh, Sugar Ray Leonard is going with Spence. Um, I think to me, I still feel like he. I mean, you know, what I'm saying I think uh, I was looking at uh, certain people channels, and they're saying uh, they asked Robert Garcia's brother, Mikey Garcia's brother, um, what what they going what they going to try to do to uh, to um, to kind of slow down uh, Earl Spence because you're not going to stop him. You're gonna you can slow him down, of course. They said they're going to slow him down with movement, which Mikey Garcia doesn't. He has movement, but not fluent movement like uh, Mayweather and, uh, and uh, you know, sound like a like a person like Debbie Haney or whatever. His, his movement is not fluent. It's like it's static. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he kind of paced himself. But I don't see him, if he moves like that, which he's not used to doing, I think he's going to be out of breath. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not what he does. He paces himself, and that's why he have. That's why he don't really be out of breath in fights or whatever. He don't. You know what I'm saying? So, but one thing about Mikey Garcia, he does get a hit a lot. You know what I'm saying? The couple fights that he fought, he got hit a lot. 
I'm not talking about that Robert Easter fight. I'm talking about the couple fights that he fought before he fought uh, Robert Easter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, one thing is if he if he could take uh, Errol Spence shots, man, that can be. He's he's straight, but see, this is the thing. It's a twelve round fight. It ain't a one or to one a five round fight or a three round fight. It's a twelve round fight, and Errol Spence is gonna punch him. He's gonna punch him to the body and the head. See, Errol Spence can drop you with. He can hit you with a head shot and drop you, and he can he can hit you with a body shot and drop you. You know what I'm saying? He's a combination fighter to drop you. He's not like a one a one hit a quitter like Deontay Wilder or whatever and all that. You know what I'm saying? But his punches can hurt you. If he keep on hitting you at the same time, and uh, I see Errol Spence is really athletic than uh, Mikey Garcia. We know that. And then one thing is, um, one thing about um, Mikey Garcia, he his ab, he doesn't work on his abs. He's I heard that he's trying to work on his abs uh, on his, in this fight because what uh, Errol Spence is gonna do? Because Errol Spence is gonna hit him in the body, and he's gonna hit him in the head. He's gonna hit him. Now, how much he's gonna hit him? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, I know uh, Mikey Garcia is uh, technically sound, and uh, you know what I'm saying. And of course, Errol Spence. I think everybody's overlooking Errol Spence's uh, uh, talent and uh, his skill level. You know what I'm saying? But we'll definitely see how, how his skill level is, is with uh, Mikey Garcia at the same time. But um, you know, this fight. Uh, I still, I still, I'm still going to give it, I'm still going to give it to a, a Earl Spence Jr. But the reason why I'm not, I'm, it's, it's a, because Ken Mikey, Ken Mikey Garcia take his power. And you know, talk, everybody keep, talk, keep on talking about, he, he's moving up two weight classes. Mikey Garcia is moving up one weight class. He fought at 140. You know what I'm saying? So I want people to stop that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it's a win-win situation for Mikey Garcia, which I already told y'all in the previous videos. If he go 12 rounds with uh, Errol Spence Jr., that's a that's a victory. And even if he lose, and he go 12 rounds with Errol Spence, that's still a win, a, 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 a victory that he still won. You know what I'm saying? And then Errol Spence stock goes down. Errol Spence got to knock him out timely, like in a... Let's say Errol Spence knock him out in the 12th round. His stock still goes down. So, this, you know what's kind of funny? In a sense, you think about it, it's really a dangerous fight for Earl Spence Jr. to a certain point. You know what I'm saying? It's really a psychological uh, 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 dangerous fight for Earl, Earl Spence. Because now he shouldn't come in there with, oh, well, I don't think a 140-pound or 135-pound that can beat me. If he come in there with that, he might he, he he could lose this fight. You know what I'm saying? It's not guaranteed. It's not in because look at Sugar Ray Leonard. Look what Mayweather deal with uh, Oscar De La Hoya. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, Mosley deal with Oscar De La Hoya. You know what I'm saying? They went up on weight to fight a bigger guy and they won. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it can't be done. It can't be done. It's just all about coming in there with the best um, uh, game plan and 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 and. and, and 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 working on that game plan, and, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about with Earl, uh, with Mikey Garcia, he got to move, he got he got move, uh, flu uh, fluently, and he's have to move his head a little bit more, cause he he hits a lot, he don't move fluently, he's static with his uh footwork, cause he can't pace himself. Um, you know what I'm saying? So the thing about it is he, and then uh, then uh, Earl Spence is a softball fighter. He's a real, uh, he's athletic. He's got good movement. I think his movement is better than uh, Mikey Garcia. That's why I would say, you know, what I'm saying um, he could take a punch. Mikey Garcia could take a punch too, but see, he's fighting a bigger guy, which is one one class, a one weight class or uh, up. You know, what I'm saying so. Uh, he's gonna be. Uh, let me tell you something. Mikey Garcia comes from a family of fighters, boxers. I would say, you know, what I'm saying so. He's gonna be prepared. Trust me on that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but getting back to what Sugar Ray Leonard, he, I'm I'm not surprised about what Sugar Ray Leonard said about um, said about he give it to uh, was he give it to Spence right now? He's going with Spence right now. You know what I'm saying? But um, I guess what they say a uh, a little big man uh, fighting a uh, fighting a good big man is is he he might not win that fight. You know what I'm saying? But look what Mar look what Sugar Ray Leonard did and look what Mosley did in uh and uh, 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 uh 
and Floyd Mayweather did. You know what I'm saying? So they was the best at that time, and they fought a good good opponent who's who's bigger, and they they beat him on points. They didn't knock him out. That's what Marcus Garcia is going to have to do: win on points. But can he do that? Because usually he gets a knockdown, and um. You know what I'm saying? And, and and then of course that that can that can of be the undecided factor of him winning. You know what I'm saying? And um uh, uh winning the fight, I would say. But see, this is the thing. Errol Spence Jr., even if he let's say this, if Errol Spence Jr. knocked down Mikey Garcia multiple different times, like let's say he knocked him down in the the fourth round, and then Mikey Mikey, Gar Mikey Garcia gets up, and then he and then Earl Spence knocked him down in the fifth or sixth round. Then Michael Garcia gets up and finishes the fight, with, which goes 12 rounds, whatever. They say he get knocked down in the 12th round, get that, get back up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that this, they say it did happen like that. And then he went to the score, score, score cost. And then they say Michael Garcia won a couple, three rounds or four rounds, whatever. They say he won two or three rounds. That's still a win for Michael Garcia. That's what people are going to say regardless anyway. You know what I'm saying? I would have to agree to a certain agree to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it'd be a win for him and stuff like that. And I think at the same time, if that happens like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, some some boxing fans, or not not boxing fans, it's going to be the fighters at, at the welterweight division. They they going to look at it like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, Earl Spence might not hit that hard that I'm thinking. Because if, if Mikey Garcia came up for 140 to, 135 to 140, he came up. And he got knocked down and got back up and, and, and finished the and he finished and he went to, to the judges and stuff like that. Of course we know who won, but that means I got I got a chance in, in the ring. That might this might help Earl Spence to get the fight with Sean Porter and um um uh well he's the only one who got the belt because Keith Thurman he's out, so we don't know when he's gonna come back. They need to they need to strip him, man. They need to strip Keith Thurman. He should have fought this year. He should have fought the end of this year at the same time. But now that fight, we don't know when he's going to fight. You know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, and then Terrence Crawford, uh, we, uh, Errol Spence, his, Al him and say he ain't going to make that fight right now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think that Errol Spence is scared of, uh, Terrence Crawford. But that could be the case. That could, that, could, that might not be the case. That could because Al him and Bob Aaron don't get along. And that, and that's a possibility too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's all kind of possibilities why that fight is not, is not getting made right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, man, um, Mikey got Mikey, Gar Mikey Garcia got a chance. He got like a, I say a twenty, thirty, a twenty or thirty percent chance to uh, win this fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, would I be surprised if he win the fight? Ah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, I probably would be surprised because of the margin, because I got a twenty thirty. You know what I'm saying? So. I might be a little surprised. I say not a, a lot of a lot surprised about it, but I I'd be a little bit surprised about it. You know what I'm saying? And how he gonna do it? But you know what I'm saying? Um, but if he was like Chance Crawford, is in his movement at the same time. I can't because I think Chance Crawford got a better movement than uh Mikey Garcia. He can switch. He can he can adjust. Can Mikey Garcia adjust? Because when you this is the thing. Can he take away from? Errol Spence uh, strength, which is uh, his, you know, which um, um, that could be anything to a certain point, you know, him being athletic, him being, uh, he having strong punches and stuff like that. He would have to make Errol Spence miss a lot. He would have to make him miss a lot. That's that would be his. That would that would be him taking away from Errol Spence's um, arsenal. Him because um, he. he when he punches you, he's he's calculated. He 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 um he doesn't throw a lot of punches and don't and miss a lot. He hits you. He's accurate. He don't throw wild punches and stuff like that. So that would be that would be the goal of him. Cause I say he they, that's what Mikey Garcia said. Uh, I mean Robert Robert said about Mikey Garcia. He, we gonna be working on his movement, his abs, and other things that's gonna prepare him for um Earl Spence Jr. So that would be the key of him winning the fight if he make Errol Spence miss a lot, and and, and of course, uh, like I said, can 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 Mikey Garcia take his punching his body punches and his head shots? I'm gonna say his head shots too because I remember 
Earl Spence Jr. knocked that knock knocked down uh Lamont Peterson with a head shot. You know what I'm saying? And he knocked down uh Al Jury with a head shot. You know what I'm saying? So everybody everybody forgetting about that thing too. Um so um I know Mikey Garcia is going off on Madonna when he fought him in sparring, but Marco Marcos Madonna is not Earl Spence, of course. Earl Spence is bigger. Earl Spence got a but he's he's got a he's accurate, he's calculated with his punches. Um, he moves better than uh, Mar Marcos Madonna. Um, he's more athletic than Marcos Madonna, and he's a softball. You know what I'm saying? So um, he's totally different from a uh, uh, fighting style, body wise. At the same time, and a different fighter than uh, Marcos Madonna, because Marcos Madonna he sits in the pocket, he let you hit him. He's the himself. Sometimes he let himself open sometimes, but, but but Earl Spence Jr. doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might catch him once in a while, but he could take a punch. Because I remember I seen the um I, I seen the uh tape with Michael Marcos, Marcos Madonna with uh Amir Khan. Amir Khan was Amir Khan won that fight and he dropped it with a body shot. Now that was Earl Spence. I don't think I don't think I don't I do not think Amir Khan could drop Earl Spence with a body shot. And that was and, and, the, and the crazy thing about that That was in the third round I think Or the second You know what I'm saying I can see The crazy thing about that <coughs> The crazy thing about that uh, But it, but see that that's kind of uh, Put uh, Kind of ruined um, uh, Amir Khan name Amir Khan got a good shot And he's a strong fighter too At the same time But uh, I don't know man It's just I don't think that Um I mean, of course, Michael Garcia is not going to drop. I don't think he's going to drop Errol Spence with a body shot because that's not what he does. He's not a body puncher. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So he he does. He 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 he, he, he hits you with the, he hits you in the head and drop you. That's what I seen. He don't drop. He don't drop with the body. I'm not. I'm not saying Michael Garcia can't do that, but he's not going to do something that he usually don't do. You know what I'm saying? So I won't be surprised if he did it, but that's not what he does. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know, man. But like I say, we'll definitely see when it fight. I think that they're saying this fight is going to be late February or whatever. It's going to be in, it's gonna be in February or late February whatever. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, what do you what do you guys think? What do you think is the key uh, victory for Mikey Garcia? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who, and what do you think uh, Earl Spence need to do to uh, win this fight and be with N notorious and and let his uh, stock rises a little bit. And, and you know what? It's kind of funny because as I'm thinking, even even if Earl Spence beat him, would his stock rises? I would think it still will rises because it's a big name at the same time. And then the dude, then Michael Garcia is coming up, coming from one weight class for 140 to uh, fight Earl Spence Jr. Because I think one thing about Earl Sp Michael Garcia, I'm not. He's a warrior. I, I, I know I, I give him all the credit. I, I wish he would have fought another fighter at 147 to fight, then fight Errol Spence Jr. or fight Lumachico to get to unify the belts, whatever. But he had to give up the IBF belt, you know. So, so that's not if he fight Lumachico, it's not going to be a unification belt no more. So, but it's still going to be an interesting fight. But at the same time, um, Mikey Garcia see a he see a flaw in him, and that's the and the reason why he he sees a flaw in Errol Spence. He's a come forward fighter. He doesn't back off. You know what I'm saying? And if he do get hit, he'll back off and then he come back in. You know what I'm saying? So he got a taste. He's got another thing is he's got a taste Garcia's power. Which I believe that's gonna happen too. He's gonna he's gonna taste my 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 Garcia power, but how much power he's gonna taste, I don't know. Because Aaron Spence been with bigger fighters too, the same thing like Carol Brook and Lamont, Lamont Peterson and the other, some other Walter Waits up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, he tasted power before. So, uh, can is Mike Garcia power is going to stand out, uh, stand out, uh, than them other fighters? I don't know. That's something that's going to, that's something that we're going to have to see. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all give me, so leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new notifications, new videos from me. This is JT from Above Know the Belt. All right, bye.